live from beautiful Coors Field here in Denver, Colorado. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the St. Louis Cardinals going up against the Colorado Rockies. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And towing the slab for Colorado in this one, Kyle Freeland. And singing a special day for him. He's making his major league debut here. And I'm sure he's got some nerves. He'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues. Exciting moment. He's got his family in town. I think this moment's going to be a huge tone setter for his career. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Throw to first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting the ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Two outs. The other way. Makes the catch in and over. And down in order go the Cardinals. The Rockies coming up. We've got no score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Coors Field. And today's starting pitcher, Kyle Gibson. Chris, you don't have to dig too deep into the numbers to see how good he's been. Well, he's been nearly untouchable. Kind of a silent assassin out there. Just goes to work and guys look up it's deep into the ball game and they haven't been able to scratch anything off of this guy so look for him to do the same thing today maybe go the distance maybe hand it over to the bullpen at the end and try to get that W and here is Charlie Blackman looking for his first big league hit right here the 1-1 one -one. that's ball two Swing it a foul straight back. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. On the ground at first. Takes it himself. Oh. One up, one down. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring things together, no, exactly. and perform at a level that they're capable of. Wind in the pitch. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Makes the catch. Two down. Batting third. The third baseman. Ryan. Two outs, base is empty. McMahon. Now the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Two down, nobody on. 
And there's a foul ball. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing for the Rockies. Scoreless after one. Back here in Denver the at the play, Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado. So, what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. And down on strikes, and one gone. Brendan Donovan next up for the Cardinals. Yeah. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Wouldn't chase That's that time. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff pitchers have today, you're just not going to have a lot of success. One out, base is empty. Fights it off, he'll see another. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And two away now. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the ball and step out of the box. Agitate him a little bit. Do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long... And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. The second baseman. Tapped on the ground softly to short. Win. Zips it across. Leadoff man retired here in the second. That is it. The first baseman. Michael. Here's Michael Tolia. And Chris, probably no other player better represents present-day baseball than this guy. A lot of power, a lot of strikeouts, and some walks. 1-1, one, one, check swing, appeal down to third. And no swing, says James Kingsley. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. There's a strike. Really important for the pitcher to not get proud, stay with the scouting report, and don't throw something into his swing. He's kind of channeling Adam Dunn. Over to Goldie. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Next to hit for the Rockies, Sam Hilliard. Left hand batter waits. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two outs. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. One, two, three, go the Rockies. We'll move to the third with no score. half of the third inning and stepping in for the Cardinals Jordan Walker the lefty fires and another ball definitely a swing and miss slider down and in he finished that really well just couldn't get him to offer at it 
And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Now a chance for Thomas Sajazi. The 1 1 is fouled off. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. And that's in the dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Kicks and fires. Grounder might be two. Over to Rogers. Out. On the first double play. As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. And here's the rookie catcher, Pedro Pajes. Two down, nobody on. Ball two. That one fouled off two and two. Two out spaces empty. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. In the air, right side. Kate pulls that one down, and that is that. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the Rockies catcher, Hunter Goodman. Right through there for a strike. That one down the line and foul ball. And the one two misses to even the count. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. pitch foul ball another 2 2 upcoming got him he didn't make it easy for him on the mound but they still get the strikeout here's Jake Cave now the 1 1 Hit on the ground to the right side. And it goes just foul. One down, base is empty. Hard hit, right side. Goldie steps on the bag. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. No left field. So two down now, and here is Jordan Beck. Still tied at zero, last of the third. And a swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Three up, three down, inning over. Rockies are down quietly, and we are still scoreless.
And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Mason Wynn. Just missed. You know, these Cardinals, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Go ahead, run on base. Now up for St. Louis, Alec Burleson. Bounce to the right side, and it's just foul. That was close. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Hit on the ground, might be two. Over to second for one. Relay to first, double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Two outs. So now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Fourth inning underway, no score. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Onto the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Bottom of the fourth, and now the DH, Charlie Blackman. Designated hitter, Charlie Blackman. Here's a 1-1. Tapped in front of the play. And a quick out number one. Up next to Colorado. Not shortstop. Ezekiel. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Hit hard, that gets through. Ezekiel Tovar with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. On the ground a second, might be two. There's one, and that's two. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're headed to the fifth. We're tied, nothing, nothing. And we're back, ready now for the fifth inning. Here's Nolan Arenado. Nolan. Arenado. Nolan Arenado at the plate. Arenado, guy who delivers big time power at the dish and will probably go down as one of the greatest defensive third basemen of all time. Fly ball to right. Kay makes the play, and there's one down. Now back, second baseman. Brendan, Brendan Donovan. Donovan. Next up for the Cardinals. The Redbirds yet to pick up a hit here. Outside low. Yeah, that's ball two. Two balls, one strike. Ah. 
Swing and a miss as he was late. That one the other way. Snags it for the second out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Here's the center fielder, Lars Nukbar. Two down, nobody on. Wouldn't ball chase that time. Down. That that's one misses, three. and that's ball three. Oh, well, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And there's ball, ball four. four. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough like at-bats? No Boom, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're at the top of the field. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. A two-run homer. It's 2 nothing. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there. No doubt about it. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. Two outs, nobody on. Here's the third baseman, Thomas Sajazi. That one ripped, but foul. The wide to kick the pitch. That's down and in, a slider missed. And that should be extra bases. And that's going to get into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. And his first big league hit is a double. Thomas Sajazi with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So two down, Pedro Pajes. Next up for the Cardinals. The pitch. Hey! Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Man at second. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Two runs for St. Louis on this blast. And it's two zip. Back after this on the show. Back here at Coors Field, bottom of the inning, here's the second baseman, Brendan Rodgers. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot.
The 2 2 now. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now it's the power speed combo. Michael Tolia. Right hander kicks deals. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes. The Rockies trailing by two. Last half of inning number five. And a one-two again. And oh. another ball. One down, base is empty. That one ripped. Bangs off the wall. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. Michael Tolia with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you work to get here. So in now for Colorado, Sam Hillier. And a pitch. And that one missing low. Righty to the plate. And that one fouled off. Runner at second here, one gone. Two two. Out to short win. And there are two outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's the catcher, Hunter Goodman. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. is fouled off. And he deals. On the ground right side. Slides for the stop. Fires to first. And that's a nice play to end the inning. So one left for Colorado. They're still down. It's two zip. set for the top of the sixth and here's the St. Louis leadoff man Mason Wynn Singh you talk about a guy that has all the skills the range is really good but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays the wind of the pitch so a foul ball makes it one and two and because of that big power arm he's able to play a little bit deeper make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond and still get a pretty good runner that's impressive Hauls it in for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. Oh, that front shoulder line. coming open the instead of staying line. closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. On the ground right side. Rogers he's throws out. the first. That's it out. The batter. The first baseman. Paul Goldsmith. 
Two outs, bases empty. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. Wouldn't okay. chase that time. There's a swing and a drive. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he's in at second with a two out double. Paul Goldschmidt with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, boo. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Here's Nolan Arenado. And here it comes. Ground ball left side. And that's just foul. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of it. Well, plays made there, and that retires the side. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Cardinals two and the Rockies nothing. Well, we go bottom six. Go. So in now for Colorado, Jake Cave. Left hand hitter waits. And that skips into dirt. For all these Rockies showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. You know, sometimes it just takes getting to the bullpen in order to be able to score runs, and that might be the case today. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Jordan Bell digging in for the Rockies. the ground to third he gets there with the slide and they get the out well Boog is an infielder you have to be ready for anything in that spot it required going to the ground getting a little dirty and making a strong throw for the out great play so the batting order turns over here's Charlie Blackman Two outs. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. Nothing doing for the Rockies. They trail it here, two nothing. Number 41 gets handed the rock out of the pen. And this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. Up the middle. Nice grab. Over to first, but he beats it out. And the leadoff man is on with an infield single. Brendan Donovan with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And up next for St. Louis, Lars Newtbar. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Rudder at first with no outs here. Oh, 
And the next pitch is way outside. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And now the lefty bounce to the left side. And foul ball. The pitch. Heading down the line. And that is foul. At the belt and fires. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So digging in, Jordan Walker. Can't forget the two-run shot he launched out of here in the fifth. Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Boog, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at bat right here. That's inside. Now all even up. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Man at first one away. High fly ball out to left field. Beck sizing this one up. Makes the grab and there's two gone. Thomas Sajazi next up for the Cardinals. One one now. And that one lifted in the air center field. Hillier drifts towards it. And he makes the catch. And that'll do it. The cards leave one, but they hold the two nothing lead. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now the number two hitter, Ezekiel Tovar. Kicks and deals. That one finds the corner. And the count is two and two. Action in the pen down there. Andrew Kittridge appears to be getting loose. King getting cranked up as well. and misses it's a strikeout a big first out here in the seventh via the punch out yeah it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this when you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this so a strikeout really puts them on their heels Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies and a foul ball And a pitch. Rolls the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Brendan Rogers digging in for the Rockies. Got him swinging. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They trail things here, two nothing. So they turn things over to the righty, Ryan Feltner. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Pedro Pajas digs in now. Right-handed reliever. And that's outside. 
And it's two and one. You know, these cards, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Puts and misses. It's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. And here is Mason Wynn. Here's a 1 1. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Makes the catch for the out. Two way down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. The left fielder, Alec. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Alec Burleson. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Cal Quantrill getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Lawrence warming up as well. Two down, nobody on. And another ball. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the righty deals. And that one ripped to left. Base hit. So Paul Goldschmidt now gets a chance with two gone. Alec Burleson with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Man at first, and stepping in for the Cardinals, Paul Goldschmidt. The 1 1. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Burleson around third. He will score, and they're up by three. Picks himself up an RBI. Great hands on that swing to take the inside pitch and drive it into the gap for the double. It's easy to spin off a pitch like that, Big, and you can pull that thing foul, but that was perfect. And next is the Cardinals' four hitter, Nolan Arenado. And the pitch. Sliced hard, but foul. Man on second, two down. Chases in the dirt, slider there. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. Cards on the board with this double. It's now 3 0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the eighth. Another yeah, batter down. Michael Tolia. The Rockies in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The 2 1. Way out front for strike two. Three. Struck him out looking. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. And now the center fielder, Sam Hilliard. On the ground, right side. Fires to first on the run. Oh. On the money, nice play. Up next for Colorado, the catcher, Hunter. Next to hit for the Rockies, Goodman. Hunter Goodman. Two outs. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Goldie makes the play, and it's out number three. 
Rockies are down quietly. Still down 3 nothing. Back here in Denver. Now it's the second baseman, Brendan Donovan. Brendan Donovan. The 1 1. Bounce to the right. Rogers whips it to first. One up, one down. Up next for the Cardinals, the center fielder, Lars Newtbar. Here's the center fielder, Lars Newtbar. Next one is off the play, and the count is three and one. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. A game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Man at first with one gone. Now up for St. Louis, Jordan Walker. They call this nope. batter a gamer because he always seems to perform better when it matters most. Who doesn't want a guy like that on your team? The pitch. Swings and through that hit. one. Two ball, two Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Man at first, Thomas Sajazi. Next up for the Cardinals. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Righty delivers. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. Bottom of the ninth coming up, and we'll see if he can complete the shutout after the break. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Ryan Helsley. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball. And we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. So digging in, Jake Cade. The 1-1. One, one. Swings through that one out in front that time. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. you got to find a way to shake it off, go up there, and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Not even close there. Now 2-2. Two and two. Now a screamer into the outfield. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. And that's a leadoff double. Jake Cade with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So up next, Jordan Beck. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Oh, 
Lifted in the air, right field. Nabs it. Runner tags it second. And he makes it up to third with one away. Now that the designated hitter, Charlie Blockman. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Here's the Rockies leadoff hitter, Charlie Blackman. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in no spots. The 1-1. One -one. And that one pulled foul. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Meatball sizes this one up and makes the grab. Runner tags for home. He's in on the sack fly. It's 3-1. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Rockies down to their last out. And yeah, the batter now is Ezekiel Tovar. Next pitch is outside. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. The pitch. That one fouled off. When you played, did you play with guys that you thought were clutch and sort of what were the attributes you said that's what he possesses that allows him to come through? Well, we always used to joke, you know, guys want to eat steak, and there were some that just had a knack could understand it. All right, this is a, a big, you know, payout if I can come through with a knock here. But I think when you really... Andrew Kittredge taking over on the mound. And he comes on here for the first time this season, and I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that. So we'll see how he settles in. Ryan McMahon will hit next. The tying run at the plate. They're down to their final strike. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. Two-run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Hit to the left side, and this is going to do it. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Gibson with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.